Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new receiver. This is a superior hobby, the RS FSB hard. This module is nothing else than a micro, or at least a very compact SFH double S uh, compatible radio receiver, so Futaba protocol based, and is a uh, dialoguing with the FC thanks to Asbus uh, communication port. So it's relatively compact but a little bit more bigger than for example the uh, last Fiersky uh, receiver and uh, here is the SPSS8 version so uh, a D8 international uh, protocol uh, also dialoguing in Asbus uh, port okay so it's a little bit bigger for example I can give you the exact dimensions but uh, it's something like uh, 36 by uh, 22 with by uh, 6 millimeters okay so uh, the antenna okay are 15 centimeters long and they are connected to the receiver thanks to micro FL connectors that's pretty good and this receiver is announced to have a range uh, between 1.5 km up to 2.5 Wow, it's just amazing for such company and very competitive to uh, last Free Sky long range one model using the D16 uh, protocol. Um, so uh, you can find here three pines for the SBUS connection. Okay, so a little bit better than the PPM in both of you. You have less lag and uh, you don't have oscillation uh, in the each uh, value of the channel. Okay, and a very tiny button okay it's uh, used to bind and to set the face safe value so if you long press on it you will enter into bind mode okay and as soon as it's bound or even if the tr transmitter is not turned on uh, if you briefly press on it you can set the default face safe value for example from the threshold be aware because uh, if the face safe is not set uh, it will take the last value of your input so if you are aware applying some uh, throttle you have a potential fly away okay so be sure to uh, set the face uh, value uh, before your takeoff um, I can give you uh, an information about the weight also so uh, it's of course uh, much heavier via the presence of the two antenna but you have something like 4.7 gram okay um, most of the weight not I would I won't say most of the weight but at least close to half is a uh, link with the antennas okay so uh, how to bind it is pretty easy so I will use this uh, for example this USB cable to provide a plus 5 volt or oh, great news uh, this receiver is also accepting a wide voltage range from 3.5 volts so very uh, small one up to uh, 2s 8.4 volts so it's great from 1s and 2s no problem at all to power this receiver and no problem of course with a, a back delivering 5 volt so I will power like this connect and uh, plus yes central negative it's okay and I will plug the um, receiver so when it's not bound you have a solid uh, red LEDs so as I said if the transmitter is not bound yet you can set the face safe so actually by just briefly on press on the face safe button okay and it should uh, store the default value actually zeros to all channels so let's uh, bound it for example uh, an, a cheap compatible Futaba uh, radio it's associated with XK products so I will show that it's working. So if I turn on the transmitter like this, you can see that you have a flashing green LED. It's not bound yet. How to bind it? Just press more than two seconds, one second, the bind button. And it will turn fast to red, then solid green. It's bound. If I turn off the transmitter, it will turn now to red. And if I turn on the transmitter, I've got a solid uh, green LEDs is bound no problem actually I don't know if there is some telemetry information I don't think so okay so it's working perfectly and if you want it's working also with the uh, 
deviation are hacking of the SFHSS protocol uh, with a Devo controller uh, compatible with deviation TX, modded with the CC1500 RF chip. So, for example, this model. So, I have to enter into buy mode. So, I will long press on the buy button. If I can catch it. Button is okay. Up. And it's bound, no problem. Uh, I can turn off the Devo. Turn on again. It's bound, no problem. So it's a pretty good and uh, well, so um, hard to make a, um, a control range, okay? Because with a flyer, I don't know. But I will try to make at least a ground uh, range test. So I will install the receiver on maximum one meter dot five, okay? And try to see how far uh, the uh, green LEDs will be lost and turn into a flashing uh, uh, red indicating, or at least a solid red indicating that signal is lost. Okay, so I will m try to measure this distance on the uh, ground surface. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, please submit, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.